Hello. Before the dare, there's always like a bajillion things I have to tell you guys, but today uh, I don't have nothing. I wanted to, to let you guys know beforehand. So uh, I guess let's just get started. Da, 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 dare. So the dare for this week was chosen by God of Pigana. I think that's how you pronounce it. He asked us to draw a celebrity. And so I decided who else would I draw but Lady Gaga. I don't know if you can see it very well. Just kind of threw it together. I thought it'd be cool to do prosthetics. So there's like, you know, her cheekbones and her forehead bones. <laughs> Cause those are what they call it. And her shoulder bones as well. I kind of actually really did what she wore in Born This Way video. You know how she just some pretty fabulous lingerie on. The part where she's dancing because I thought she looked best when she did that. I really liked the way she looked. Sitting there looking hot. I kind of got the idea of her lying on the ground based off of uh, one of the pictures from the Born This Way album that you can see where she's like covered in that like oil kind of thing. And I, excuse me, sketchbook trying to abuse me already, see? I don't know what's with objects of mine and liking to abuse me. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Okay, on to the truth. It's time to tell the truth. So the truth for this week, I think it was something half in a one and then we also kind of like adapted it. Sort of. Also, speaking of which, if you guys noticed, ever since Kika posted that video saying that he wants the viewers to choose a truth and dare, we're kind of experimenting with this idea where I think we're just gonna really just try this month that you guys choose a dare and the truth and while we just like sit on our asses and <laughs> choose which one sound best. Uh -huh. Actually, we really, because a lot of people have been asking this, a lot of people were like, hey, do you let us submit dares? And we were like, yes, totally, let's do it. So then we just decided we should really get to actually letting you guys do it. So that's what we'd be doing. You are welcome to submit Dare and Truth ideas on Megan's video and you're also welcome to submit it on any of our videos as long as we get to see it and then we'll choose which ones we think are your best. Oh, jeez. Oh, the truth. Wow, that went off on a tangent. The truth for this week is who was your first cartoon crush? So, this will be kind of cute because I know that everyone has always at least had one cartoon character they thought was sexy. Don't lie, you know you did. So mine was actually a character from Digimon. Has anyone, did anyone ever watch Digimon? Everyone always said that Pokemon was better than Digimon, but I thought that they were both equally amazing. And oftentimes I enjoyed the show of Digimon more than I enjoyed the show of Pokemon because if you, as you know, I'm an avid player of the Pokemon games, but I never really liked the show so much because it just kind of kept going. But anyways, the character that I had a really huge crush on when I was little was Matt from Digimon. He was like the first Digidestin. I don't know why. I just, maybe because he was you know, the troubled character and he had so many emotions inside. But I really liked him. And also probably because his Digimon was a wolf. And I've always loved like wolves. I think they're just so beautiful. And they're probably would be, if I had to choose a favorite animal, it would definitely be a wolf. I just love them. They just, everything about them is just amazing. I could probably go off on a tangent on that, but that's not what I'm talking about. But yeah, like I always thought he was really hot. And then <sighs> when I was little, at least, looking at like the way he actually looks now, I'm just like, oh, not really. When they all grew up and stuff, and then he was the lead singer of a band, and I was just like, oh my god, that's just so sexy. Imagine, yeah, me, like 10 year old me. I don't think I said sexy back then, but whatever 10 year old me used to say, that's what I thought. When I was young, I did have a, quite a few cartoon crushes, a lot of anime crushes. I even had a crush on Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! As I look back on it, it's like, god, why did I think these characters were even mildly attractive? Because first off, I'm not even real, and second off, the drawings were so bad. You know what I mean? I mean, I didn't think about that back then, but there's way better looking cartoons than Matt and, um, from Digimon and Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. So, you see the pattern there, the bad boy pattern? I don't know what that's about because in real life, bad boys are so overrated. Just saying. That's another story. Wow, I'm getting off on a really weird tangent. I guess I can leave that for this week. Make sure to, because I didn't really say it last week and I felt bad that I didn't. Make sure to give us ideas for truth and dirt. That's what I really felt was important to say. And to also thank you so far to all the people that have been submitting and giving us ideas and I really like the ideas that I've been seeing. So I'm looking forward to more. So since that's all, I will see y'all later. Well, bye.